Okay, this video is regarding the uh, using the Supco 3-in-1 to get your compressor going in your refrigerator. There's a lot of good videos about doing this, but I made this one because I had a specific problem and I couldn't find the solution. And the problem was that I had an extra power wire and I didn't know what to do with it. Okay, the 3-in-1 um, comes with two wires on one side and then three wires on the other side. Right, and the three wires on this side go to the three exposed prongs that you uncover on the side of your compressor. And then these two wires, you splice them into the power. So you got two that you splice into the power, and then you got three that go to three exposed prongs. Well, I had three power wires that I was dealing with. I didn't know what to do with the third one. So that's what that video, that this video is about. Um, you can see the diagram. I've already got this hooked up here, right? Two power, and then the, the white, black, and red go to your start, your common, and your run. One other thing to keep in mind is sometimes, you can see at this diagram, the common is on top, starts, start and runner on the bottom. Sometimes it'll be, the start and run will be on top, and the common will be on bottom, so the triangle will be inverted. Uh, but what you should pay attention to is not the up and down orientation, but the left right orientation So the white is going to be your start and that's going to be on the left uh, Whether the the start is above the common or below the common it goes from left to right start common run in this diagram The common is on top, but in my situation The triangle was inverted and the commons on the bottom and You can see the two power that you run off and, and you splice those in um, now, as I said, I've already got it hooked up here. You can actually just hear my compressor running. Um, I've got the three hooked up here. That's a good view. Okay. There's the, the white, the red, and on the bottom is the black, the common. Sorry for this. Uh, there we go. All right, so that I've already taken off the the compressor starter and the overload, and that exposed these three pins, and these three things slid onto the pins. That's what you're supposed to do with the kit, right? Um, I can show you the. This is this was the starter that I removed. Okay, it's got two holes. It went in the top top two pins, and the two powers attached here. And then right underneath my starter was my overload. That went right underneath in the bottom pin, because I've got two on the top and one on the bottom. Bottom pin went in there, and this is the overload. But you can see my overload has a power attachment, which it turns out goes to the thermostat. So that's what I did. That was my problem. I had the, on this starter, which was right there, going into these the two top prongs. On the side of my compressor I had two powers there that's what everyone else seems to have on the bottom I had my overload going into that bottom prong prong but I had a power attachment here I didn't know what to do with that that's that doesn't tell you what to do with that in these in this diagram right because this diagram you got two powers going off to the right those are supposed to go to the top two on mine, top two. Uh, yours might, your triangle might be inverted. So the solution was to splice that extra power line into the common run. So of the three cables that are going vertically up here, start, common, run, I cut the black one, I spliced in the power that was going to my overload that not everyone else not not all everyone else seems to have in their videos i spliced that in and uh, it works great so that's why i'm creating this video if you have a situation like i do where you're trying to use this thing 
and you got an extra power line running to uh, the side of your compressor and you don't know what to do with it. Um, if it's like mine, it's, it's coming from your thermostat and you just splice it into the common and then you should be good to go. You can see where I am. Um, The one, two, three on this side, that's the common. There's where I cut it and spliced in the black power cable. And then just took it down to that the common uh, common pin. Which you get on mine. I have two prongs on top and one prong on the bottom. You might your common might be on top, so hope that's a uh, hope that's helpful to anyone else that was in my specific situation.